Warning, the audio in this part has been incredibly up and down, um, but towards the end, I began to kind of figure out my microphones on the next part, part two. Definitely, the audio will be fine. I hope you guys enjoy this part. Bye, everybody. Previously on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead. And I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. No! No! Stop me! <laughs> Get me! Get me! When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere. And welcome back to The Walking Dead. Pretty sure I cut her arm off. I guess so. I thought I cut her arm off, but I guess. We cut his arm off, that's for sure. Going after Sarah. Damn. Go ahead and get the zombie off us. Gut herself up. And try to find the the group. Our our dogs. We're gonna go ahead and keep quiet. So we blend in. Stop. Rebecca. I can't find anybody. I know. What do we do? Mom was with me, but I, I can't do this alone. You should try to find me. We know who we're supposed to meet. We just need to get there. Look, the walkers are still moving toward the hardware store. We can make it out if we stick to. Uh oh. I'm glad you're here. We can watch each other's backs. I'll stick with you. Thank you. Oh, poor Rebecca. So pregnant. We can clear path to the trees. Maybe they're thinning out somewhere. Do you see any openings? Anything? There. Ugh. Damn. Hey, Jane. Jane, thank God. Stop. Relax. Love her. Slowly, you'll be fine. I can't do this. Oh, no. Rebecca. We can't come together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. No, you don't understand. Just help us. I'll stay close and watch out for Rebecca. Your choice. Damn. Damn it. 
She's gonna come back and help us. We'll have to push through that cluster of walkers. There's so many. We'll make a cow catch up. Just what we need. Okay. Just tell me what to do. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. Okay, so I guess we're going to use another walker to actually lure our way through the crowd. Alrighty, so need to uh just walk with the crowd, I guess. We have guts all over us. Damn, Jane is such a badass. I love it. Let's go. And we're off. Episode 4, Amid the Runes. Look at Rebecca and her little belly. all right no i'm not all right but i'll be a lot better once we get with the others i need to make sure everyone else made it out luke sarah kenny god damn it what if they aren't there hmm. if they aren't nothing we can do about it don't even say things like that fine sorry <laughs> i don't even know if we're safe what if the herd is still following us we're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We'll watch out for each other. So long as we keep up a good pace. I know, I know. Just, I'm going as fast as I can. She's got a little baby in there. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. Hopefully they made it out. How I'm really hoping. It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. Jane saved us. I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. Oh, I'm just saying that the if compliments. we panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course. We panicked. We were scared. The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. Mm. She's just so pregnant. <laughs> Having a baby in times like this must be crazy. Oh, poor Alvin. Yes. Alvin. He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. Let's hope he made it to the meetup point then. Yes, definitely. Hopefully little Clementine doesn't have to deliver this baby because apparently she does fucking everything in this game. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Ooh! Just making conversation. What do you it mean by fun. that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean, it's going to need food. We'll look after it, together. Even if that's the case, you can't always protect everyone. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because Ooh. you're some angry loner who doesn't care Ooh. about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were- she died? 
Rebecca, low fucking blow. I don't need your pity. What? That you was. Don't. You don't have the right. Jane. That was a low blow, Shit. Rebecca. Shit. I'm sorry about your sister. <sighs> Damn it. Yeah, that was really low, Rebecca. Mm-mm. Here we are. We can't just sit here. Look, it's Bonnie and Mike. No, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. I love him. I love him. It's been so long. We were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. How's Sarita? I tried to talk to Tan. He flipped out on me. Started yelling. Scary shit. I know. He probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. Oh my god, look at her. She has to go. I hate to say it, but Sarita's on her way out. She's probably gonna turn soon. Is, uh, is he gonna take care of her? Jane, I know it's not pretty, but it's better than the alternative. This isn't the first time Kenny's seen someone get bit. How did it go last time? Damn, last time was hard with Duck. He shouldn't have to do this again. Clem, I was thinking now that you're here, maybe you could go talk to him. Okay. I swear she does everything. Everything. It's all right, Sarita. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna be here with you. Right till the end. Hi, Kenny. Oh my god, the music's changing. What's about to happen? Oh god, he looks so scary. Stop. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? I said we just wanted a little fucking time alone to say goodbye. <clears throat> shh, shh, shh. It's okay, babe. It's okay. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna do what we gotta do. Kenny, I'm so sorry about Sarita. You hear that, babe? Clem says she's sorry. Don't that make you feel better? Oh my god, Kenny. <laughs> Why are you acting this way? Take one wild guess, Clementine. Don't act like it's her fault. Don't be a total dick to her. She's like 10 years old. I tried to save look her. Look at her. I said look at her. Kenny, stop. She is going to die because of you. Uh, because of me? Uh, Kenny, uh, shut up. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works. Wow, what a total dick. It's not my fault yeah, Sarita got bit. Not. Just leave us alone to say goodbye. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Gotta go. Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you try. Still. Doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. I love him yeah, so, food, so much. No she water. reminds me so much of Lee. It's been damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. We should go find Luke, Sarah, and Nick. If they're in trouble, we might be able to help Definitely. them. Definitely. Clementine's right. After everything, after all this, if there's any chance they're still alive, we need to take it. I'll go. Clem can come with me. All right. I do like Jane, so I will I will go with her. Thank you. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? 
I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know, but you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. All right. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and hopefully go find the others. Alrighty, so here we are with Miss Jane in the woods. Yeah. Definitely want to hear her story. I'm with you. you should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. It didn't look good. You're probably right. Yeah. So, I wanted to talk to you away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. Hmm. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start... They're not bad people. But there have been problems before. I don't always agree with what they say or do. Neither do I. Look at Kenny. I don't even know where to begin with what a liability he is. And Rebecca's situation is not <laughs> making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. How can you get along without trusting anyone? That's exactly how I get along. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. And that's why I love her. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could have. Oh. Jane. What what happened to your sister? Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? I'm sorry. I just want to know your story. I'm you know, so sorry, Jane. My sister is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. <laughs> oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut <laughs> on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no, it's not all bad. <laughs> what could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd, I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just friends. <clears throat> Jackpot. Ooh. But these walkers got some good stuff. Ugh. That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. Yeah, we should check him out. But you know why, right? Only because they're fresh. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. Pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. That's very true, actually. That's really smart. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. All right, so let's go ahead and check this walker out and see what he has. Some ammo. Hold on to him. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. That's true. It's really never going to get better, which is really sad. Find anything? Driver's licenses, two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. Maybe he has them from somebody he lost, and that's his way of remembering them. Smart haircut. Thanks. Lee did it. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? 
You fit in there, but you weren't like them. I was with a different group before. That one worked better, I think. That was when I got my hair cut like this. That's it. I miss Lee. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. She'd jab my hand when I went reaching in. Oi. Can never be too sure with these things. Here, <laughs> give me a hand. Alrighty, let's move him in his varsity jacket. Oh my god. Oh. These Sarah's. Glasses, they're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. Sarah? Sarah, are you there? Are you crazy? Walker? Yes. Bandits? You've just announced our position to any of them out there. That's she has no a point. Friends. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Yeah! Oh! God damn it. Shit. Oh my god. Okay, come on. We gotta find I, I want... Man. I know Carlos didn't Looks make like it. an opening over there. So who did? Oh no. Apparently not Nick. Oh. Nick. Oh. Look, he's your friend. You should do this. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Poor Ni Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, look at the brain. It's all right. It's done. If it comes to it, if Luke or Sarah or anybody needs to be put down, you gotta be ready for it. It's true. You don't want no them suffering. Hesitation. That's what I'm afraid of. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Well, thank you for the screwdriver, Miss Jane. We can do this. <laughs> Sarah. They don't sound too good. The clock is ticking. I'm ready. We're gonna go save our friends. I know you are. We need to get a better look. Sarah, I'm not. How about you get the close one, and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for it. Ow, what the fuck? <laughs> nice work. You know Thanks. what you're doing. Now watch this. Got a nice little addition to your arsenal. Damn. Take out the knees first. Then, put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. Got it. All right, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. She's so awesome. I really love her. <laughs> All right. Ooh. There's too many. We're not getting in while they're still hanging out over there. Maybe we can get them to move. We can try. I can't. No. Let's run to the truck. Oh <gasps> fuck! Shit! God damn it! Oh no! <gasps> I should have killed him right away. We had the option. Gotta be more careful. You 
easier than you think. Nice trick, huh? <laughs> That one over there is wearing a motorcycle helmet. They look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? People. Think, calm down. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What are you doing? Why are you what doing? What do you this? think of that? If you think that's best, I'm with you. Good. What's going to grab their attention? Noise. I got you covered. Alright, so do? we can bang on the barricade, but what good would that do? Let's go into the truck. We can't stay here. Beep, beep, beep. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Damn it. Oh, what? That's good, but we need to keep it going somehow. Okay. Um. Can I get something from the barricade? We're gonna get up and go. Hmm. What else? What are you thinking? If we lean him on the horn, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. <laughs> Give me a hand. All right. Okay. It's working. Come on. Look at her little pigtails. <laughs> Look at Clem. Come on. Okay, the body fell, so they're all going back. We gotta move it. Run, run! Get in there. It's locked. Then try something else. You're gonna need to use more force than that. Put some muscle into it. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. Okay. Go, Clem, go! Ooh, look at that badass. Okay, we're gonna end that part, or this part, here. Um, I know my audio is probably really loud, and I'm, I'm figuring it out, guys. And the next part, it will be good. Okay? Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this part, and I'll see you guys shortly with the next part. Bye, everybody.